Dear friends, welcome to Infos. Welcome to another video from uh, Infos Oil and Gas uh, Training Series. Uh, we are uh, uh, doing our training on uh, positive uh, compressor. So, this is my 50 to 50 second video on uh, compressor part 9 positive displacement uh, compressor. In this compressor, we are uh, mainly focusing on uh, constructional details and uh, uh, compressor uh, positive displacement uh, compressor uh, control system or control not control system capacity control how we can do that one let us uh, see that one uh, so welcome to this video construction of a reciprocating uh, positive displacement reciprocating compressor there are three major sections in the construction of a reciprocating piston type compressor that is the main type compressor let us see that one compressor cylinder cross head and a connecting rod compressor frame <clears throat> so look at that one here it is there and uh, you can see that one uh, cylinder is there cylinder is there see the cylinder uh, in this area this is the cylinder area see this area is there in the cylinder look at that one and <clears throat> Piston is there, see the piston and piston rod is there, see the piston rod and valves are there, see the uh, inlet valves, 1, 2, 3, 4 valves are there and seal systems are there, oil seal systems are there and lubrication systems are there, lubrication system also there and cooling system also connected that one. Then uh, clearance pocket and valve lifters are there. Clearing pocket and valve lifters, where it is here, here, somewhere in the clearing. These, uh, these are the in this area, uh, not this area, this area, it comes that clearing systems are coming. So that's are also there. So valves action, compressor suction and discharge valves are a type of non retained valve, like a check valve, only one side flow. Gas flows only in one direction through the valve. The suction valve opens on the intake stroke when the pressure inside the cylinder is lower than the pressure in the suction line. <coughs> like that one. So, seal system packing is used to seal the pressure inside the cylinder from the atmospheric pressure outside the cylinder. The packing is uh, contained in a packing gauge that consists of a series of cups. Each cup contains segmented packing rings. The packing material is usually the same that as that is used to piston rings, cast iron, bronze, carbon, teflon or other plastics. So, cylinder lubrication system. Efficient lubrication of the piston and packing is a very important factor in a compressor operation. Without correct lubrication, piston rings and packing will become excessively hot and eventually break or melt or distort. If the oily film is destroyed, the packing or rings will make direct contact with the metal and wear will occur. Cooling system, the, when the gas is compressed, molecular friction and increases, molecular friction increases and the temperature of the gas increases. This effect in turn heats the compressor cylinder parts which can weaken to the point of failure. Most compressor cylinders have sorry something is missing here and most of us have the cooling system in uh, this uh, uh, compressor system prime mover is uh, very important prime movers are machines that uh, which drive the compressor prime movers are can be electric motor or steam turbine gas turbine or internal combustion engines such as a diesel engine the prime mover is separate from the compressor. The two machines are joined together by a coupling. So, this is the typical reciprocating compressor cylinder assembly. Look at that one. See, you can see from the piston rod, cross head and partition packing case, inboard casing distance piece, outboard distance piece and pressure packing case. And here the compressor uh, 
suction and discharge valve see you can see valve number 1 2 3 4 this is two stage compressor we already that one discussed in the compressor cylinder you can see here and the ram valve cover is there and the clearance pocket unloader is there this much of information available in this picture and in this picture a reciprocating compressor schematic assembly so it is the inlet filter where now it is uh, this is you can take a typically a air filter if it is using for air filter uh, so sorry in the air compression system for instrument air or any other uh, air applications see the inlet filter will remove dust or any oily particle moisture or something is uh, you can remove those uh, inlet filter the same compressor is using in the same primary is using the three stage compressor so entering to the first stage here and the first stage is suction and discharge here after the uh, compressor is increased in the pressure and temperature so intercooler will be uh, mandatory requirement for that one so the cooler will be there after the cooler it is uh, uh, cooling that any drain is available any condensate is available we can remove it in this uh, uh, knockout drum which we call in this one or uh, separator uh, that will remove any drain system any condensate or uh, water particle or liquid particle available you can remove that one then it is going to pressure safety valve is any choking problem is there you can release the pressure here and as a safeguarding system so then it is entering to the second stage compressor both the three states are connected to the same prime over that is important in second stage also increase in the pressure a much higher level and it is entering to the intercooler of the second after the second stage again it is a, a condensate or liquid a, a separation unit will be there then the third stage compression after the third stage going to third stage cooler then a non rotating valve and the separator is there and uh, removing the uh, condensate available liquids available in that one uh, in the dry air or uh, safety relief valve will be there and air filter will be there the compressed air filter again before delivering to the customer or delivering to the system to make sure that one no uh, particles are available uh, or uh, more contaminants available in the compressed air so this is a simple representation of a air compression uh, entire unit <clears throat> so you can verify in your uh, station how the air compressor is working what are the items are available just to familiarize that one there is one important uh, equipment available in uh, reciprocating compressor whenever it is uh, fully loaded means the uh, discharge line pressure is uh, uh, sufficient that times uh, compressor will not uh, stop by the uh, before instead of that one it will running with the discharge valve will close or discharge valve will release to uh, safe location that is called uh, valve unloader loading and unloading mechanism in the uh, compressor when uh, necessary time to stop before without uh, stopping the compressor running in a way that would and the uh, suction valve will uh, open always and uh, whatever the uh, taking compressor will not work as a compress only it will run as a ideal like that method is using using uh, uh, unloading mechanism so valve lifters are used to unload the inboard outboard suction valve a valve lifter unseat or lift a suction valve so that the compressor will not compress the gas at the end of the cylinder where the valve has been lifted if the valves lifted on both ends of the cylinder that cylinder is completely out of service so these are the uh, regulator see the regulator mechanism for uh, unloaded position and the regulator mechanism for uh, loaded position you can see that one see this is the difference here uh, uh, the unloading condition and loaded condition so this will support the compressor to uh, whenever load is required discharge pressure is low if, uh, from a particular set point so then loading mechanism will work when it is the discharge pressure and the discharge line pressure is sufficient then the it will automatically change to unloading mechanism using a governor system we can do that one so some more uh, schematic representation of uh, loaded and unloaded you can see that one see the uh, 
എയർ സിസ്റ്റം യൂസിങ് എ സൊൽനോഡ് വാൽവ് യൂസിങ് എ ലോഡിങ് സൊൽനോഡ് വാൽവ് യൂസിങ് ഫോർ ലോഡിങ് പർപ്പസ് യു ക്യാൻ സീ ദാറ്റ് ഓൺ ഹിയർ ഹിയർ ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് അൺലോഡിങ് കണ്ടീഷൻ ദ ഇൻലെറ്റ് വാൽവ് ദ പൊസിഷൻ വിൽ ബി ഓപ്പൺ പൊസിഷൻ സീ ദ ദിസ് ഈസ് ദ ലോഡിങ് പൊസിഷൻ അൺലോഡിങ് പൊസിഷൻ ആൻഡ് ലോഡിങ് പൊസിഷൻ ക്രോസ് ഹെഡ് ആൻഡ് കണക്ടിംഗ് റോഡ് അനദർ കൺസ്ട്രക്ഷണൽ ഡീറ്റെയിൽസ് എ ക്രോസ് ഹെഡ് ആൻഡ് കണക്ടിംഗ് റോഡ് ആർ യൂസ്ഡ് ടു ട്രാൻസ്ഫർ പവർ ആൻഡ് മോഷൻ ഫ്രം ദ ഡ്രൈവർ ക്രാങ്ക് ഷാഫ്റ്റ് ടു ദ കമ്പ്രസർ പിസ്റ്റൺ ദ ഫംഗ്ഷൻ ഓഫ് ദ ക്രോസ് ഹെഡ് ആൻഡ് കണക്ടിംഗ് റോഡ് ഈസ് ടു കൺവേർട്ട് ദ സർക്കുലർ മൂവ്മെൻറ്റ് അറ്റ് ദ ക്രാങ്ക് ഷാഫ്റ്റ് ഇൻ ടു ഹൊറിസോണ്ടൽ മൂവ്മെൻറ്റ് അറ്റ് ദ പിസ്റ്റൺ റോഡ് ആൻഡ് പിസ്റ്റൺ ദ ക്രോസ് ഹെഡ് എൻഷുവർ സ്ട്രൈറ്റ് ലൈൻ മൂവ്മെൻറ്റ് ടു ദ പിസ്റ്റൺ റോഡ് ഫ്രെയിം ലൂബ്രിക്കേഷൻ സിസ്റ്റം അനദർ വൺ ദ ലൂബ് ഓയിൽ സിസ്റ്റം പ്രൊവൈഡ് ലൂബ്രിക്കേഷൻ അറ്റ് എവറി മെറ്റൽ ടു മെറ്റൽ ബോർ ബിയറിംഗ് സർഫസ് ആൻഡ് റിമൂവ്സ് ദ ഹീറ്റ് ഓഫ് ഫ്രിക്ഷൻ ഡെവലപ്ഡ് ഓൺ ഈച്ച് സർഫസ് മോസ്റ്റ് ഫ്രെയിം ലൂബ് ഓയിൽ സിസ്റ്റംസ് ഹാവ് ടു കംപ്രസർ ടു കംപ്രസർ ഷട്ട് ഡൗൺ ഡിവൈസസ് ദാറ്റ് സ്റ്റോപ്പ് കംപ്രസർ വെൻ ദ ആക്ടിവേറ്റ് ഓൺ ട്രിപ്പ് എക്സസീവ്ലി ലോ പ്രഷർ ദാറ്റ് ഈസ് എ പ്രഷർ സ്വിച്ച് ലോ ലോ പ്രൊവൈഡിംഗ് എക്സസീവ്ലി ഓൺ ഹൈ ടെമ്പറേച്ചർ ഓൺ ടെമ്പറേച്ചർ സ്വിച്ച് ഹൈ ഹൈ പ്രൊവൈഡിംഗ് so compressor control is uh, another uh, important area there is a suction pressure control will be there and uh, most field compressors operate a constant discharge pressure the suction pressure is controlled uh, parameter uh, control parameter of the unit when the suction pressure is decreases the compressor capacity is greater than the flow of the gas supplied to it some of the driver energy is being wasted so when the suction pressure is increasing gas flow is greater than the capacity of the compressor cylinder this increases the energy required by the driver and may produce an overload condition so <clears throat> capacity control is we are going to discuss in our coming slide the driver power the driver required depends on the compressor ratio and the volume of gas because of the discharge pressure is usually constant the lowest compression ratio and power consumption will occur in the highest suction pressure as compressor should operate at the highest suction pressure this pressure should be maintained constantly in oil field operation pressure in the gathering system is maintained as low as possible to make maximum oil production the compressor is operated at maximum speed to keep the suction pressure as low as possible so compressor control using speed control and clearance pocket adjustment discharge gas back to the suction and this loader and loader system there are two main reasons why compressor capacity regulation is used the most prevailing reason is to adjust the suction flow to match the process demand the second is to save energy as a rule capacity control is determined by the compressor discharge pressure compressor capacity control method are utilizing to maintain a required delivery under variable process condition these are the Uh, method we are adopting in uh, reciprocating centrifuge uh, reciprocating or positive displacement compressor capacity control valve unloaders controlling the speed of the compressor variable or fixer volume clearance pocket hot bypass gas let us see one by one as early i discussed that one unloader condition when it is uh, compressor is loaded means the discharge pressure is sufficient then the suction valve will keep open Uh, always that is the control uh, unloader position so all compressor will not uh, work compress the loader unloader will hold open the inlet valve air in the cylinder will pass back to the atmosphere on the compression stroke instead of being compressed so compressor will then do not work it is unloaded so that method we can using compressor will run the motor will run but compressor will not take the load compressor speed control is another method of using in uh, capacity control as the speed of a compressor is increased its capacity also increases decrease in the compressor speed decreases its capacity using compressor speed control capacity is limited by the type of prime over driving the compressor variable speed driving system you can adopt the speed of internal combustion engine usually diesel engine can easily accurately controlled by either manually or automatically another capacity control is a clearance pocket the capacity of a reciprocating compressor can be controlled by changing the amount of clearance in the cylinder here to do this one a clearance pocket is used 
So, this is the clearance point fixed oleum and the variable oleum clearance pocket. Hot bypass is another method. A compressor fitted with the hot by gas bypass capacity control has a bypass line running from the discharge to the of the compressor to a suction of the compressor. Bypass line includes a valve which used controlled automatically. So, thanks for watching this uh, video. So, we are almost completing uh, uh, reciprocating compressor also. Let us see what is the balance is, uh, uh, information is pending. Then uh, we will come with a new video on uh, compressors. Thank you for watching this video. Have a good day.